Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 3 of Desertopolis, a mod pack by Beben Law. Well, in the last episode, we started setting up our base and of course, completely forgot that I wanted to do a chunk loaded in three chunks and I'm kind of a bit over so I'm going to have to replace everything. I think I did. Did I do that in the time lapse? I think I did. Give me a second. Yes, yes, as you can see. I've moved my base so that the first corner starts on this chunk right there. I have one chunk, two chunk, three, and three chunks. Okay, so it's going to be a three by three base. That being said, I was looking into this and four, three. It's not symmetric. But if I make this five windows, five windows, five windows, five windows, five windows, five windows, then I'll have a perfectly centered. So guess what I'm going to do in my next time lapse? Yep. I'm going to rework on what I've already started doing. But, like I said, I want to make this base, like, really cool looking. Um, that being said, I'm going to make the floor, like, I'm going to make the main way, like, maybe a different color to split everything in four quadrant. And it's going to be a checkered brick pattern, but in one corner over there, it's going to be nature. So it's going to be moss block and grass and whatnot. And on this corner, it's going to be the farms. Uh, yes, farms, plural. Like, I'm, I'm going to have a lot more things with farming. Because I also want to get into oh, chickens. Okay? And chicken is going to mean um, some automated farming. Because I'm going to need a lot of seeds. So that's something that I'm definitely going to look into later. Then, um, I went and traveled a little bit. And I did something without showing you first because I had completely forgotten in my one last thing, which annoys me, but it is what it is. And also discovered a problem. So I made this fluid drawer, okay? And the idea is that it holds 32 bucket. So I wanted to go and get some lava and fill it. But ooh, see, it doesn't work. No, no, no. It does work. If you don't have a shield in your hand. So... I couldn't get my 32 buckets of lava. I'm going to have to go back and do it again. Oh, I'm going to have to go back and do the bucketing. Oh, that is a weird bug. I don't know how I feel about that. Is it really? Wow. You see in here first, super weird, multiple duper lava bug. Anyway. Uh, by the way, flopper, this is what the flopper can be used for. Let me grab the flopper. Let me do this and then grab this portable lava tank and put it right up here like this. This is what the flopper does. Liquid can evacuate from this basic portable tank into this. Oh, see, it, it doesn't contain six bucket. So my lava duplication is just a visual bug. But if I do this, then that should work. Yep, everything's going to go in there. Four, four, perfect. Okay, then in my time lapse, I went to travel because I wanted this and also because I wanted to find a meteorite and some chickens. So I did craft something without you guys, which is in the useful items right here. The animal capture net can be used to pick up mobs and move them around. So it's made with five strings and two stick, super easy. And the reason I did that, let's sleep and I'll explain We'll, we'll go back to that thing I said we would read at some point. Now's the point. If you go back to Welcome to Desertopolis, it says here, the world has three biomes. Desert, desert, full of sand, normal mobs at night, sand, cactus, glass, and leather chickens. Sand, cactus, we've seen, cactus, we've seen, the hurt us, glass, we've seen, leather, we've seen, okay? And there's some all around us. But in the badland or the eroded badland, so... They're both kind of the same chicken, but different dangers. So Badlands is full of red sand and has wither skeletons and blazes that spawn. Eroded Badland is dangerous terrain, terrain and yeah, gas spawn there, but also wither skeleton and blaze. So if you look at my time lapse, you're probably going to see some of those. But what's interesting is that it has clay chicken, blaze chicken, gas chicken, silicone chicken, and bone chicken. And guess what? I got myself two blaze chicken, two silicone chicken, 
two bone chicken, two clay chicken, and two gas chicken. So these chicken, the reason I got two of each is that they're all one, 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 and we can grow them to 10, 10, 10. And the silicone chicken are going to give us silicone. There's a way of making silicone right now that I'll show you, but like the ideal, ideally we're going to be using the chicken because it's going to make everything easier. Let me just get rid of all of this for now. These are all things I can keep in my backpack that I don't need right now. Okay, so I got the chicken, but until I have the seeds to be able to feed them, there really isn't any point in me playing with the chicken. So today we really have to get to a point where we have an automated farm. Let me just grab this because I see that this seed has grown. And in the beginning, yeah. Oh, you didn't give me a seed. Darn it. Okay, in the beginning, you need to be a bit careful of the garden because you want, it to, you want to get as many new seeds as possible. Anyway, let's get started with today's episode. So today, we're getting into silicon. Guess what? That's what we're going to make. We're going to make some silicon blend made from nugget. Okay, so we need some nugget, some quartz, and some sand. What I'm going to do is I should have a stack of quartz. Yes, and I should have two stacks of golden nugget. Yes, I do. And I'm going to grab six stack of sand. Uh, one, two, three. Um, partial, partial. Do you want to clean up my inventory a little bit at the same time? Which is something I'm definitely... So that's four, five, and six. Then I can come here and go this, this, this. And voila. Two stacks of silicon blend. Silicon blend has multiple factor. You can make quartz and rich iron. You can make surface quartz. And in the charger, you can make silicon. So what I'm going to do is immediately, I'm going to go and put a whole stack in here so that we start making silicon because we're going to need a kind of a lot of silicon. So that's detected. Uh, and the rest, I'm going to transform in half one, uh, Half quartz enriched iron and half silicon. So I'm going to grab some more of this. I'm going to need a stack of that because it's one to, uh, no, it's one to two, right? Like this. Whoa. Oh my God. I'm pressing all of the wrong buttons. Yeah. Okay. So I need 32. So I can put that back away. And I'm going to grab a stack of this and. The rest is going to be iron. I don't know if a stack's going to be enough. Let's just try it. So if I go 16, 16, 16. So it's a stack and a half that I need. <laughs> Let's try this again. 16, 16. Perfect. And for the other one, like this, 16 and 16 like so perfect and we can put the rest back up in here so that's going to give us the search of quartz and the quartz enrich we're going to need to charge some quartz so what i'm going to do is i'm going to charge 16 quartz and i'm going to intercept the silicon well if you put it first it's the first item that's going to get grabbed and i'm going to do that because i want to get some of that a bit faster i've so I'm so confused right now. And voila, a charge search of quartz. Now we need the inscriber silicon press. I did not find a, uh, what's it called? I did not find a thingy in the world, a uh, meteorite for now. So let's just craft it because it's easy. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to come back over here and grab nine of you. Let's do this. And one, two, three, four voila next thing is to make these raw advanced processor raw improved processor and raw basic processor they're all made with the processor bindings some silicon so the advanced need mineral crystallized mineral and then if i look at the other one these one needs gold and these one are basic raw so i'm gonna try and make i think i'm gonna be good with four of each but you always need a bit more of the goal usually in these uh, mod packs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make four of these, eight of these, and four of these because the processor binding are eight at a time. 
So I want just a bit more string. So let's just do this. <clears throat> and come over here, click a click. Let's make some more string. That's perfect. Okay, I do have some slime, but if you did not find some slime, basically you just put a cactus to a strainer with eroding water and you have a 50% chance of getting slime. So I don't feel like I need to craft some with you just to show. I can just do this and grab 16 of those. Put that back in here. Then uh, let's get, what do I need else? I'm gonna need 16 redstone. And I'm going to need 36 crystallized mineral. And I'm going to need four ingot. So 36. I heard something bad. I think we've got some pillagers. Let's just grab my shield. And let's go get rid of those ASAP. Yeah, let's concentrate on one at a time. Then we're going to have the Bad Omen debuff, but whatever. Okay, so you know what? You're not welcome here. Okay, let's get rid of this. Uh, so 16 for 16. I also need 16 silicone. Okay, so one other thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So we're also going to make the flux crystal. Drop a charge surface quartz crystal, redstone, and nether quartz into a pool of water. So we're just going to quickly do that because I want to set those in the inscriber. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then all of those. And voila. Okay. So uh, we're still having to make the raw processor. I'm kind of getting all over myself. Let's do this. Let's do this. And let's grab four of these. Three, four, and nope. I need 36 more gold. I said I wanted to make more of the gold than less. Okay, so just one second, another 36 right here. Get rid of those. Come over here. And then we'll just be able, so 16, 16, 16, and then four. Four raw basic, eight raw improve, and, and one, two. Oh, no, no, that's the one I already did. What's the one I'm missing? Oh, the raw mineral. Okay, these, perfect. Now it wants us to make an inscriber used to make processor from raw processor. I'm going to make two of these. I'm going to need 10 iron, two copper. So grab 10 iron. Oh, 10 iron, two copper. Oh, two more, uh, four more. Let's grab a stack of cobblestone. Let's grab whatever planks we have. And we're going to need four slime, so I don't have to make more. Got lucky on that. Okay, so let's just do this and this and... Okay, so let's just do the piston. Piston, like this. We're going to need four of those that we're going to make into sticky piston. that we're then going to make into inscribers like so. Perfect. Let's sleep. Then we're gonna go set up the inscribers. Okay. The inscribers both need power, which we're not extracting from here that I just saw. So let me grab my wrench. Extract power. I'm gonna put one right here and one right here. Okay, so with the Inscriber silicon press, and let's grab all of these. Uh, we're going to put 16 in here. We're going to press 16 silicon into printed silicon, and we're going to put eight flux crystal in here. The flux crystal are going to become flux crystal dust. 
okay so this this is going to give me the can be turned into dust in the inscriber and then i'll be able to make the basic processor with the printed silicon is what i'm doing so i have four and four and eight so i'm going to need another 16 redstone and then i'll be able to craft those once i have the 16 printed silicon so right here this is kind of well kind of done it's semi done i'm also going to need five certus quartz dust so the moment this is finished we're going to insert five certus quartz because the inscriber makes dust from anything so that's kind of like good or else we'd have a problem We, f we need five because we're going to make some Certus Quartz glass. Uh, how is this going? Oh, this is going really, really well. Okay, so let me split that. And six, seven, eight. The moment this is done, we're going to go and insert. By the way, in this pack, you can insert stacks. This is like, wow, usually it's one at a time. The fact that you can put stacks makes everything so much more amazing. Okay, I'm going to grab this and then I'm going to put this, this and this and we're going to come back to this. So now, you know what? I don't like having this in my hand. Okay, so now we need to make these uh, the quartz glass. So I'm going to grab one, two, three, four. Quartz glass is made with four glass in a cross pattern and five certus quartz or any quartz, any dust. I think you can also make quartz dust. And what we want to make is an energy cell to store energy for A2. So it's... Wow. I just checked to immediately forget. So in the center, it's a quartz glass, and then it's four and four. So one, two, three, four. Nope, not five. One quartz glass, and then just the plain one. One, two, three, four. Voila. And... We're going to go back. We need to pick up these things now. These should all be done. Yes. Let's put the four in here. Let's grab these eight. And we'll grab, you know what? We'll grab one. So that should get us to quest line completion in a moment. So energy cell. We're going to craft that into an entropy manipulator. Oh, I need iron ingot. One, two iron ingot. We're going to do that. Just give me a second. Let's go back and entropy manipulator which completes oh no the pop curse fruit okay so i don't know what the pop curse fruit is for but i want to have quest line completion so i'll do this and quest completed so let's put that in here because like i just said i don't know what it's for uh fi we'll figure it out later for sure but let's just get rid of this and oh i need water not bread do I have another canteen? I, yeah, I did make another canteen, canteen, but they're both empty because I didn't know how long I was going to travel and I didn't want the water to be my limiting factor and I didn't want to have to make a campfire and start making water in my travel. So I just made two canteen instead uh, so that I would be good. But I left and I forgot to take all of my cooked cactus. So thank God I had some bread or else that would have not been nice. So let's drink. And, oh, I'm screwing up. I need to charge the Entropy Manipulator. You can put it in the charger, but it's going to get extracted immediately. So, unfortunately, when you want to charge it, you need to cut this off. And then you can put it in, and all the power is going to go in there. Is this... Wow, this is already out of coal. So let's just go back here. And let's refill this with full of coal. All of this is going to get moved, by the way. And yeah, perfect. So this is charging again, and this is all done. Okay, so that's one quest line completed. Now, let's get into compressed. We need compressed iron. Shift right click on a block of iron with a, the entropy manipulator to obtain compressed iron. So we're going to make three blocks of compressed iron, which is going to make, give us nine. So I'm going to need 27. It's expensive. It's three to one, but that's the only one that we're going to have to do at this bad of a ratio. After that, we're going to be able to make it, I think, a one-to-one -one ratio. And, oh, yes, be careful. Make sure you have enough charge and shift right-click, okay? Because if you, sh if you just click, you're going to make something else, which is not what you want, okay? 
I've done it in my test world. You're going to make scorching iron and there might be a use for that later, but not for now. Okay, next step is going to be grab a little bit of stone and we're going to use four of these compressed iron and put stone around to make ourselves some reinforced stone that we're going to transform into reinforced brick and that we're going to use like this to make 32 pressure chamber wall. This is what we need right here. But uh, the pressure chamber interface lets you insert things and the pressure chamber valve lets you valve things. So we need some pressure tube used to move pressure from one place to another. Let's just grab one glass and then we'll go glass and two compressed iron. Eight is going to be enough to start with. Then we're going to make ourselves two furnace and pressure tube crafted with furnaces. <clears throat> um, yo, where is it? I think I'm going to search from the furnace. I think there's less thing that you craft with furnaces. Oh, right here. This compressor, we're going to make two air compressor. And you know what? Let me make <clears throat> a lever. Do I have a... Yeah, because when I make my setup, I'm going to want... <coughs> going to want a lever to control this. So that's great. Okay, let's make a... Um, chamber valve. Um, no, uh, interface something. So we need a hopper. Grab this. We're going to need a hopper. Like so. And if you use this and two pressure chamber valve uh, wall, you get two pressure chamber interface. I also like to see inside of my pressure chamber. So one with glass is going to give us a pressure chamber glass. So that's going to let us see true. And then we need to have the one with a tube to be able to insert pressure. Okay, so technically we should be good, but I don't want anything to blow up in my face. So I'm also going to make a valve. Uh, no, not a valve, a gauge. So this gauge, uh, safety tube module. I'm going to need two lever and a pressure gauge, which is four copper. I did see some copper here. One, two, three, four. Then what I'm going to need two more lever. So one, two. So four copper around a compressed iron is going to give us a pressure gauge. This is going to give us two lever. These two lever with this and no reverse. So this is going to prevent our thing from ever exploding. And then we can grab two stack. So now I'm just going to set this up in the corner. This is not going to stay there. It's going to be temporary until I redesign my base a little bit. But one, two, three. So this is going to be right here. That's not what I wanted to place. Just give me a second. <clears throat> so this here and this here. And that way I can put a lever between the two. And then I can say to this, I can say, uh, always on high signal, you're on on high signal. So I'll be able to, they're on, now they're off. Then we're going to make the pressure chamber room right here. Bottom floor is a three by three, corners like this. And then we're going to put our special blocks. So this is going to let the pressure, oh, not placed correctly, of course. This is going to let the pressure come in. This is going to, these you have to place carefully. So if I do this, blue means input. So it's orange on the other side and blue means input. So here I can input into the pressure chamber and it can input from the pressure chamber to the outside. And then we're just going to close that up on the top like this. Oh my God, all of the misclick possible. And this is not what I want here. Here I want this glass so I can see inside of it. And voila, my pressure chamber is done. Now we're going to grab these and go like this and like this. But now if it goes above five PSI, it's going to explode. If I put this right here, anything that goes above 4.9 is just going to stop. So I can do this and this and turn it on. And even if I forget those on, like let's say I go away and I'm like, oh shit, I forgot. 
instead of having my chamber or these explode or my tube explode, this is just going to go psh, psh, psh. So the moment I start hearing that, I can just run over here and turn it off. Okay, so the pressure chamber is started. Let's go sleep and look at the next thing we want to craft. Uh, we have a couple of things to make. The first thing we're going to make is the dripstone, and then we're going to make the turbine blade. So for the dripstone, drip stone, we need a um, compressed stone, and then we need that with a bucket of water. So let me grab a bucket right now and a bucket of water from here. Let's grab this and then let's go back to the pressure. Oh no, I'm going to need a way to insert and a way to extract. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make myself a second barrel. Do I have everything? Oh, I have two barrels. Perfect. So the way this work, which is kind of weird, but cool is the output it auto pushes. So I can just put this right here. No problem, but this will not auto insert. So what I, you need to do is put a barrel and then you can put a hopper. I just prefer this because I think this inserts a bit faster because it's eight item at a time. So you can do this and then just come over here and set that to insert. So now we can go, let's do this and push one stone. The stone's going to be opening the door, put it inside. Then it closes the door and pushes it in. I think it's already finished. We didn't even see it go in. Okay, we're going to see it with the next one. Now let's do this. We're going to see the bucket of water go there. When pressure, oh, voila. Every time the door opens, though, you lose a little bit of pressure. And I think that you need one point something to have the operation. The stone went in, it transformed, and immediately it left. And we've got a dripstone block. We're going to get our bucket a bit later. Let me just come over here and we're going to set that right here. And we need another resource generator ASAP. So let's just grab a two buckets. We'll grab one bucket of water, one bucket of lava. And let's just go and do that ASAP. I think it's with cobblestone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Like this. Great. Get those. Grab this. Perfect. And we're going to need a drawer like this, this, and voila. Okay. So drawer right here, resource generator right here, and this on top. And we're now getting grip, uh, dripstone. Now, the reason we need dripstone is dripstone is six dripstone with two cobblestone in a bucket will make a fluid generator, which will let us generate any fluid that we want. So yeah, that's really important. And I did want to get to that as soon as possible because I want to set three generation of water ASAP. So in my time lapse, I'm probably going to set up lava, water, and uh, fuel. So we've got that back. What's the next thing that we need to do for our farm? We need some turbine blades. So turbine blade are made with gold ingot and redstone dust. So let me just do something quickly that I should have done before. We're going to make a um, compacting drawer. So compacting drawer needs two piston. Perfect. So let's grab one, two, one, two. Come right here. So we're going to make two piston. We're going to need to make another drawer like this. And then we should be able to make this. Yes. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace the gold nuggets with this. And now this way, whenever we want like just basic uh, a block or ingot, I can just click those and grab those. So I need um, 27 of you. 27. And I need 54 of you. 54 because it's two redstone to one gold ingot. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to split it in three because every time you insert things, the more items you insert, the more pressure you need. See it? Only, oh, yes. These do four at a time, not five. What are the upgrades at pipe? So if I'd made an improve, uh, no, sorry. If I made a basic pipe oh that's not bad i should be able to do those do i care though anyway so i'd put the gold in here and then it's going to grab some of the redstone 
And while we're waiting, you know what? Let's just go back and let's make two of these upgrade. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One and two nuggets and let's come here and these let's say we want to make two of these perfect and we'll make two of those Put the nugget here and now we need to grab back some gold so grab up to nine gold perfect uh, then we're going to have to replenish our uh, so it's nine to eighteen perfect i need 18 of those Perfect. And we're going to go over here and do this. This is over. Yes, we've got nine turbine blade. So now let's do nine and 18. So see, because I've got 16 items at a time, it grabbed all nine gold and inserted them. Then it's going to grab 16 of the 18 redstone. So it's still going to need to do the redstone into go, which is not the end of the world. This is done. 9 and 18. 18. Perfect. Come on. Give me the last. I think I have just enough pressure to be able to get the last one. Yeah. And that's going to be 27, which is perfect. Grab all of these and let's go back to crafting because these turbine blade needs to be transformed into rotor blade like so oh okay perfect so now see i'm out of compressed iron uh well not really because i'm going to grab 32 and we're going to go back in here and we're going to transform 32 and see the ratio so we put 32 in it's going to put 16 first because it's going to be 16 at a time and that's unfortunately bringing our pressure down oh god this bought our pressure down far Okay, so we got to wait. I feel like it took all 32 of them, which should not be a thing. But if it did, well, good, I guess. Okay, so let's just get rid of a couple of things. Just a little bit of inventory cleanup of things that we don't need for now. We don't need this. Okay. We're just waiting for this to get to two. And by the way, more compressor would make this faster for sure. Better compressor would also make this faster. It's just, eh, we'll do that at a later time. Right now, we just want some progression to get to a good place. Okay, so while we're waiting for this, the next thing that we're going to want to compress is a little surprise. So, if I grab these, like so. And I do this. And this. And this, I'm going to grab 16, and that's going to give me five, okay? Uh, 16, 24? Perfect, so let's just do that. Put that back right there, and let's go see our compressed iron. Oh, it only gave me one? Oh, no. Okay, so it's one for one. That's even better than I thought. So now, if we go here and cheat and go to the next level, we've got the Age of Diamond. I only want to make a diamond. I don't want to get into anything else. But it's made inside the pressure chamber from eight coal block. So I'm going to do this and put just eight because I think it needs five bars, uh, four bars of pressure. See, four. <clears throat> so now I'm going to insert the rest. And I'm going to let all of those be in there. And I'm going to come back to some diamonds in a couple of, like in a minute or two. So let's come back over here and let's make some more rotor blades. Like this. Yes, perfect. So now that we have these nine turbine rotors, let's make ourselves a harvesting drone for our farm, which is this around a piece of food and a collector drone to collect the drop but let's come right here and grab one of these chests and that chest we're going to transform into a uh, hopper like so and then we can go 
upper with these four blades. And then we can grab a, I think a tomato will work. Piece of tomato and this, yes, and our harvesting drone. I've got an extra one because we're going to make not a flux compressor. We're going to make at some point, like maybe next episode, a Fluix mixer. So I wanted an extra one immediately. Let's put that away, that away. And can we sleep already? No. Okay. So the problem is that these drones, they need pressure to be charged, which means we need to make a charging station. So we're going to need reinforced stone slab. So if I come here, this should give us reinforced. Oh, no, those are reinforced brick slab. Sorry. Let's grab eight right here. Come back here and make some more of these. Stone around a compressed. Perfect. And now we're going to need three bricks. And so I think it's this and this. And we need some more tubes. Let's grab that and make some more pressure tubes like so. And I think I have everything to make this. Great. Okay. To pick up the drones, you need a pneumatic wrench. So let's also do that. Oh, orange dye. Oh, that is a problem though that I did not think of. Okay, so let me just make the hair can the air canister right now. And let me just go sleep. And I think I have a solution, but I'm really not sure that I can. Let's come over here. Nope. Let's come over here. And are there any coin? The wallets is empty. Okay. So if we had a couple of coins, we could buy some dye. So unfortunately, I don't have a single coin. I really need to go adventuring and find some coin, maybe at the end of this episode. So the problem with that is that it means we're going, we're not going to be able to uh, put that where we want. Where What's going on in here? So this is still going up. And I, oh, when I put that down, see, now this is filling with pressure. I should not have put that down because now it's going to impact. So we're going to have to wait even longer for our diamonds. But the other thing I wanted to show that I'm going to do in my time lapse. <laughs> crop support. When placed on soil or dirt, this will improve the growth speed of any crop or tree that grows there. Sneak right click with a logistical configurator to detach the item. Now, the reason I made this is that these are growing slowly and I just want to be able to do this. Shift right click and install them like that. And I'm going to want to have some on all of my uh, my crops because it's going to make them all way faster, which is definitely what we want because we want as much chicken breeding uh, food as possible. So these will now grow faster, but I don't know how much faster, honestly. I've not compared it. I just know that it makes a difference. Uh, then the next step, let's come over here. I'm going to grab these two chests and the way this work is we're going to put these chests, like one down here <clears throat> and one here. And in this one, we're going to put a hole. And in this one, we're going to put nothing. And the harvesting drone, I'm going to put on top of that when it has some power and the, uh, logistical, the collector drone on top of this one, which is going to collect everything. Let's go see what's the status on my diamond, because if I've got my diamond, then I can move to the next step. Yes, we've got our three diamonds, which means I can come here and put this drone in here. So now this is slowly charging with pressure. Did you hear a spider die? That's why I have these wall. So here's what happened. There was a spider out there and it decided to come over to me and it cl climbed up. And it got stuck on those cactus and it just killed itself. So, yeah, love that setup. That's and I also think the base look cool, to be honest. I, I hope you guys like it. I haven't even made the center entrance yet, but this is going to look really cool once done. So let's come over here. So this is charging really slow. We're going to wait for it to get a bit more pressure to show you how it works. But while we're waiting, I want to get into the one last thing. So this is done. This is done. This is done. Uh, yeah, we need a dispenser upgrade. So dispenser upgrade needs a, ooh, do I have three? No, I have two, but I do have more green wool. So I'm going to grab this one green wool. 
and do this. So the dispenser upgrade is going to be so that they can recharge automatically. I'm going to show you in a moment. Then some stick. Nope, not you. You. So these three. With these three. And then redstone. So redstone. This and cobblestone around. Perfect. And then this is going to require one, two, three, four. And four of the nether quartz right here. One, two, three, four. 262. I'm so glad I pre prepared stuff. It makes the episode so much easier and so much faster. So we got that now. And we're going to go insert it later. For now, let's make ourselves our simple storage system. So this controller. So we're going to need three machine casing. One, two, three. Then we're going to need to make a controller. Just one. Okay. Then we're going to need to make a disk drive, which means we need. Oh, please tell me I have another chest somewhere. Nope, not a problem. We're going to make a chest, but we're starting to run a little bit low on wood. So let's do this. That's going to be our disk drive. Perfect. Then we need a crafting grid, which first requires a grid. So we're going to need some destruction core. Let's go and grab two of those. We're going to make two destruction cores and two construction core because we're going to need some for something else. So destruction core, one, two. And then construction core. We need two men rail. And now I'm really out of space. So oh, um, let's keep this. Let's just get rid of a couple of things. Oh, I don't know what to keep and what not to keep. Okay, so let's just go grab these two. We should be able to make the two construction core like so and so now we should be able to make a crafting grid the moment i grab three glass so crafting grid like so oh sorry grid then i'm going to make a normal did i make two chests what did i oh no i just got rid of my wood <laughs> okay let's make a normal crafting table and now crafting table and grid and this last one is going to give us our crafting grid. That's why we needed four. Uh, and then we should make at least one disc. Okay, so let's just maybe two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's come right here. So we're going to make two 1K storage part. And then we're going to make two 1K storage disc. <clears throat> nope, uh, right here. Second 1K storage disk, and then we're going to make our um this an external storage. So I need two chests for that. Let's just do this and do four chests. Great. And oh, I'm also going to need some of these cables. Like this. Let's make the cable first. That's why I needed the second construction and destruction to make an external storage. And one last thing, let's go back here. We're now going to make our drawer controller. Let's grab 16 of these. Let's come over here. That drone should be charged enough. Yes, let's put that one in. Oh, and see the upgrade that I put in. Do you see now how it's different? The drone can land on top of here and get inside. And that's max pressure. So we're starting to hear the little because of max pressure, but we're charging a drone, so we're going to leave that. But that's going to give me, allow me to show you how this works. So you put a drone on top of here, and if you throw stuff on the ground, the drone just goes and pick it up and put it in the chest using a little bit of pressure. And the other drone, once it's ready, I'm going to be able to also show you that one. Let me just quickly go and finish my crafting. Okay, so... I also need the, what was I left? What was left for me to do? I have my controller. I have my crafting grid. I have my external. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Okay. So the last thing I want to do is a drawer controller. So drawer controller right here requires redstone comparator. So we're going to need some more of these. We're going to need six redstone comparator. 
uh, no, two redstone comparators. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now I could make those two. One, two. And then, because I made the diamond, oh, I still need a chest. Like this, and like this, and like this. We can now make the drawer controller, and if I break this to remove it, and I put the drawer controller here, well, this is the good old standard that if you shift right click, everything goes in there. But what's really nice about it, can I make more of these cables? Yes, I can. Can I make more and more of these cable? I'm going to do something super ugly. Okay, so if I go down this way, you know what? Let's start putting... I want to try the snake. I've never tried it. This might be a waste of time, but in the useful item here, there's a pipe connector. Forget running cable on your own. Lay cables across a distance. Press shift over the item to see how to use. So we're going to need six string and three pipes. So do I not have six string? That is the question. No, but I do have these three. So hopefully it's going to give me six string and I think I have some in my backpack by the way that I forgot this and this and this yeah that's more than six perfect so and I'm not then going to need some pipe uh, these are the least expensive pipe but I don't use any fluid pipe for now so I'll just do this and this and this and let's see how that works. <clears throat> so, shift right click on block will set position. Shift right click on air block to open the UI. Uh, to place pipes or reset position. Shift scroll wheel to change pipe depth. Don't know what that means. I've never tried it, so let's see what this is going to do. What I'm going to do is going to be, like I said, very disgusting, but it's just a sample. So I'm going to come right over here and put the controller like so. I'm going to remove this and put that right here. And just before I do anything stupid, I'm going to disconnect. Uh, give me my wrench. Disconnect. Perfect. And then let's just put these thing in here. Okay, so now I can put an energy pipe to finish connecting this, if I can find the right button on my keyboard, of course. So energy pipe, this is now connected, perfect. So now I can put a crafting grid right here and I can put a disk drive right there and put my two disk in here. And then I'm going to be able to put these in my offhand and take the pipe connector and external storage lets you connect an inventory. So if I do this and put that right there, I'm going to be able to shift click this. You can't connect, okay, this to this. See where it is? And go, place pipe. Oh my God. This is a pick wow it's going to make laying pipe under my base so much easier thank you beben law for such an amazing tool oh i don't think he's the one that made it but for including it in the pack which means now if i come to this crafting grid well i have access to all of this and i can now do this and put all of this into my crafting system i wanted to get to that point because at the end of this episode we're going to rearrange a couple of things. We're going to reset this centrally in the center of the base, and we're going to run cable under. So we're going to have to start digging under the base. And we're just going to make sure that all these resources, they get into a, our drawer system. The drawer system, I don't want up here. I want up here to be like as beautiful as possible and have as little things as possible. So I'm going to start uh, digging underground and set, setting up the base underground. So that's all. Uh, you know what? I think we can show one last thing. This drone should have enough charge. Yeah. If I take this drone and I put it right here on top of this, 
it's going to grab the hoe and it's going to start hoeing and harvesting these things. So let's go. See, it has the little hoe under. It's hard to see, but you can see it right there. And it just went over the garden. And this collector drone is just collecting the resource. And then there's nothing for it to harvest. So now it's stopped. Okay. And then when something else pop, it's just going to move to that. And I think that it only loses pressure when it's harvesting or doing something. Not, so, not when it's just waiting like this. So technically, my garden is automated. By the way, these can work in a 17 by 17. And I think they can go five or six up. So the idea is that I'm going to make a 17 by 17 farm in this one corner, okay? And that farm, I'm going to place these drones in the center, like a layer above, like I'm going to make like a small island above it so that they have a place to work. And I'm probably going to set up a Noto charger like this so that I'm going to move that over there so that they can easily charge because now this is not in range, so it will never charge. For now, let's just stop this. Uh, it's still going to escape some pressure, but what it means is the next call won't start and it's going to stay stable at 4.9. Oh, so guys, that's everything I wanted to show and do. Oh no, one last thing. One last thing. Let's grab six of those, two of those. Come over here and do dripstone like so and cobblestone like so. And of course, I forgot my bucket, so now I need two buckets. And I go over here. So one, two, dripstone like this. This is going to make a fluid generator. Right now, just going to make a very ugly setup. Because it doesn't need to be nice. And I'm just going to set that up anywhere. Because like I just said, it doesn't need to be nice. Let's just grab a pickaxe. Oh, I threw my pickaxe in this system, which was not a good idea because I need a pickaxe. Okay, so let's just remove this. And this counts as a inventory block. So if I come over here, I can put this down. Uh, let's just put it further like here. Okay, put this down. Then we're going to put the fluid generator and we're going to put some sand and some glass around like this. And I should have grabbed a bit more sand to be able to climb with. Let's just do this and go back up here. Bucket and grab a bucket. Do this and we're going to put some Okay, so these drawers really do not work well. This is super annoying. I think I'm not, I'm going to have to not use the drawer. Like this is crazy annoying. Just take that and that. Let's come back over here. So we're going to pay, that's only a bucket. Put the flopper right there. Let's put that on top. Will that work? Yes. So that's extracting. And now I'm going to be able to take a bucket. Perfect. Now I should be able to put a bucket up there. Like so. And I'm just going to put a piece of glass over. Because I think glass doesn't burn. Oh. And let me just show you this. Okay. This hasn't finished emptying. Oh. It is empty. Darn it. Okay, so this is now generating, but at 220. So I should put an iron block on top, not a... Anyway, so I'll do that because I don't want this here. I'll move it somewhere else. And I need a bigger tank. So if I go to portable tank, you know what? At Pneumaticraft, I know they have a tank. So, no, that's huge. That's medium. That small fluid tank. So these small fluid tank can carry 32. So it's iron bar and compressed. And these medium can go up to 64. That's kind of cool. But we're going to need plastic. Now that's not going to happen right now. Do I have four compressed iron? Let's just see here. Nope, but we don't have glass. So let's just go grab some 
iron, copper, and glass. And let's come back here. And that is for sure going to be the last thing that we do. We're going to go and make a normal tank. So first, some iron bars, and then small fluid tank like this. Come over here and see this is already at seven. So I'm going to break that. I'm going to remove that. Going to replace it with a small fluid tank. And this is going to start generating and voila. So it's slow, but it's lava forever. So basically, I'm going to have a setup like that to auto generate water just in case I need some for my system. I might even connecting connect it to the crafting grid. One for lava one for water and one for the the oil because we're going to need to start doing something with the oil but guys that's going to be it for today's episode let me finish on that so that you have a better view hmm i put things so separate that i can't really show everything i got at the same time but let's put it like that and basically i'm going to go into a time lapse where i'm just going to continue working on my base guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!